All right, for sale today, we have this really wonderful 1972 Fender Jazzmaster. Let's listen to it. We'll talk about it in a sec. Man, I love jazz masters. They are consistently good guitars, even into the early 1970s. Now, uh, the jazz master production numbers really dropped off by the late 60s. There are simply not a lot of 70s jazz masters. They're very rare guitars. Um, they still suffer from the overall stigma of the late 70s decline in production. Um, but I think most people are recognizing that in the early 70s, things were still very, very good. The, um, the uh, uh, prices for early 70s fenders have gone up pretty good. Um, so, uh, and this is, there's a good reason for it. This is a great guitar. And you can tell because it got played. I mean, it's got some mojo. It's got some wear on it. It's, it's a pretty, it's a good weight. Um, yeah, this thing got used uh, because it's a great guitar. Um, the guitar obviously isn't a mint condition guitar. It does come with the original case, but it has some pretty cool little features I just want to give you a basic rundown on. First of all, the wiring pot and the pots, they're from 66. Fender bought a big lot of pots in 66 that they slowly used up uh, over time. Um, and so by the early 70s, they're still using them because, again, they didn't sell a lot of Jazz Masters. So it's going to have 66 pots. Um, the date codes on the pickups are four-digit date codes. And uh, as I recall correctly, they date to 1972. You can see um, that on there. Now, you can read the neck stamp on there. Most of it's there, but it's really hard to see the last digit of the year. Um, it does appear to me to be a two. It's either a two or a three, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a two. Uh, the serial number would, would be right as well for around 72. So um, again, there's no difference in the specs of the guitar, but I'm calling it a 72 because that's what I see. I got a photo of it in there. Um, as far as changes to the guitar, there's not much. Um, the original bridge is included. This is not the original bridge, but it's, it's right essentially for the guitar. I'm not exactly sure where it came from. It looks older. Um, basically right. It could be vintage. It could be a modern reproduction. I just don't know. But anyway, I set this up there. The original bridge is in included, but two of the saddles here were replaced. So you find some old saddles, you can put them on there. It's going to work fine. Uh, but that's the reason why. You got the witch hat, white knobs here. Again, all original wiring harness. Um, as far as changes, you got a couple pit guard screws, a couple screws that were changed. You can easily fix that. Um, one tuner, one original tuner was missing a button right there. See that? I have no idea how it could be missing a button, but it is. So the original tuner's here. 
um, and I put an ear correct late 60s, early 70s tuner in its spot. So you, it just has a little bit less rust on the shaft. That's all you can really see. So if you want to get a button to repair that, it's right there. Otherwise, there. So basically, there's a few screws replaced. There's an ear correct tuner. Um, that's about it. Um, the switch tip isn't on here. It wasn't here when I got this, but I'll try to find a, the proper white tip for it. Um, it's a great, great guitar. Uh, another highlight is it got a fat neck. Um, it's not like a huge, humongous baseball bat, but it's substantial. Um, nice, big, rounded D shape, um, which is one benefit of uh, this later instantiation of the Jazzmaster. The necks get a little bigger, and that starts around mid 60s, 66, 67. Um, in fact, I've had a neck where it's fatter, was fatter down here than it is up here. This one's pretty consistent, good, a good fat neck. If you need, have to have exact measurements, I can do that for you. Uh, so yeah, I think I already mentioned there's some screws. I think two of the tuner screws are replaced as well. Uh, but again, the rest of it's all there. So again, wear, mojo, coolness to it. It's a 72 Jazzmaster. Again, four bolt neck plate. Gray bottom pickups. It sounds awesome. I love, love, love this guitar. So why aren't you keeping it? Well, I'm not keeping it because I'm a shop. And I've got Jazzmaster's coming on my ears here, and I can't keep everything. So um, although I get great guitars here that I often like, up, oh, got to keep that one. I can't do that with everything. I can't take it with me. So anyway, it comes with the original case. It's a 1972 Fender Jazzmaster. Really great guitar. If you enjoyed uh, the video, please subscribe to my channel. Like it. Like the video, share the video. Also, if you've watched this far, super secret, if you buy this directly from me on my website and you're not in Washington State, I don't have to charge you USA state sales tax. It's a bonus for you. Now, you might be on the hook for some local use tax that you file yourself. That's your responsibility. I don't have to charge you sales tax at checkout. So you could conceivably save a lot of money by buying it direct on my website. You can reach out to me to the contact info that's below here in the YouTube video, because that's where I'm posting this video, and reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video of this 1972 Fender Jazzmaster.